Welcome to Wheaton Residence Life. My time in the residence halls, both as a resident and as an RA, have shown me just how important residence life is to the mission of Wheaton College. There's something about living day in and day out with the same people that makes you both love them and be challenged by them. This community is what initially drew me to Wheaton and is now probably the single most influential part of my Wheaton experience. Life in a Wheaton residence hall is an experience unlike any other. You'll be placed on a floor with at least 40 other people all doing life together. And although we all come from different backgrounds and different experiences, it's ultimately these differences and our common love for Christ that make living life at Wheaton something truly unique. So here we are in Fisher, which is one of the two residence halls that new students get placed in. I have the privilege this year of serving as the Three South RA, and it has been great getting to grow with the girls. From sleepovers in the lounge to having conversations about chapel, these interactions have really given way to a lot of meaningful and life-giving moments. There's an infinite amount of ways that students can personalize and set up their dorm. I love seeing how students get creative in making the space their own. These girls have chosen to super suite, which means that all the beds have been put in one suite, and then the living space is here in the other. Just a few steps away from the residence hall is Anderson Commons, but you won't hear that around campus much. Students have been calling it Saga since the 1970s. Wheaton's Dining is consistently ranked as one of the top in the nation, and it's easy to see why. There is a huge variety of foods offered every day, not to mention the gluten-free and vegetarian options. I love Saga because it's filled with two of my favorite things, good food and good people. 